approximately 25 kilometers far from New Delhi. Amidst the skyscrapers and the posh life of Indrapuram lies a small village by the name of Makanpur, which houses a 16th century tomb known as the Teen Chhatri. The Teen Chhatri is said to be a Mughal period monument, consisting of chhatris or canopies built over graves. According to local legend, the tomb belongs to the Bhishti who saved Emperor Humayu's life during the Battle of Chaucer. However, there's no confirmation of this fact. One enters the Teen Chhatri complex from the west and can see the Chhatris at a wide open area. The entire structure is made of red sandstone and is ornately carved. The first Chhatri lies in ruins and has lost a major part of it. It is built on a slightly raised platform with a square floor plan and has decorated pillars. In between the pillars, one can see beautiful jolly work. However, due to a major part being lost, it is not clear if all four sides had the jolly work or not. There is intricate carving on the pillars as well as on the squinches. Floral motifs and patterns can be commonly seen. The ground of the Chhatri is covered with grass and it is hard to tell if any grave exists there or not. The dome of the Chhatar is destroyed and the rubble and masonry work is exposed. Near the dome, kongura shaped patterns and a lot of vegetation growth can also be observed. The second and the third Chhatris are marked by the absence of Jalis. It is possible that with time they might have broken down, as is suggested by the remains of a small portion of a Jali in the second Chhatri. Both these structures lie on a square floor plan with eight pillars each. The second Chhatri is made of rubble and stone covered with red sandstone. It has a floor plan length and width of 6.4 meters along with 2.41 meter tall pillars. The pillars have a square base which transforms to an octagonal shape moving upwards. The pillars as well as the base of the pillars are carved and decorated with floral and geometric motifs. There is an unidentified grave right in the middle of the structure facing northwest. The dome has lost the stone covering and the rubble work beneath is exposed. However, it can be observed that there are some blue glazed glass tiles on the rim of the dome. And it is possible that the dome might have been covered with glazed tiles and covered with red sandstone at one point of time. This Chhatri has a clear white lotus finial on the top of it. Like the first Chhatri, Kongura patterns can also be noticed near the dome. Similar features can also be noticed on the last Chhatris. However, it differs in terms of size. The base measures 6.71 meters on each side and the pillars are 2.76 meters tall. The base of the pillars are octagonal in shape, with carvings. This Chhatri houses two graves, about 1.5 meters in length. In the corner, inside the structure, on the roof, one can find carved floral motifs. The inner part of the ceiling has arched niches going around the base of the dome. The dome masonry is now exposed and a broken lotus finial can be observed. The monument is hard to find at present times and has been labelled as a local graveyard by the villagers of Makanpur. It remains locked most of the time and can only be accessed with the help of the gatekeeper. Perhaps this is why these structures have remained standing even today.
due to rainwater. The structure has a lot of water seepage and water marks. A lot of wild vegetation can also be noticed on the roof, which is leading to the deterioration of the structure. It can be observed that people keep their construction tools inside the chhatris and even on top of the graves. The site needs proper attention and conservation, without which it will no longer exist one day in the future.